Good morning, Internet. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. I know I'm having a not so great day. I am grateful because we I was able to wake up, get up out of bed on my own, and do, you know, get ready by myself without the assistance of anyone. My father awoke, he's healthy. Uh, my daughter and my queen, they awoke, they're healthy. But all those things, I am very grateful. But, like I made the video last night, I am no longer a free man in the sense that I am confined to my several legs. So, I live in an area where if you don't have a car, you're effed because, you know, good luck finding a job because for some reason places they like to hire people from far away for the most part. It's almost like they want you to commute to work to be as miserable as the next person. So what I did this morning was I looked through YouTube real quick try to find to see if I could fix the wobbly sprocket on the back wheel. It's, it's, I'm going to show you right here. Although this part just came out. Okay, look there. I took the wheel apart and it had mentioned something about tightening this part right here. But the whole thing is still wobbly. So now I had just gotten this bike serviced. Maybe by tightening this bolt, no, quite. I don't know. I gotta figure it out. I had just gotten a service at Alligator Cycles here in Pembroke Lakes, or by Pembroke Lakes Plaza, which is off of Taft and 104th Avenue. And all they did was they they uh, replaced that you know, rubber band I told you about that goes around the rim so that the tube doesn't touch the metal. They put the tire on, I mean, they put the tube and the tire off back on and they just handed it back to me. Perhaps I should have, you know, kept an eye on them to make sure they weren't doing nothing shady because the bike worked for about two weeks. I was super happy, super ecstatic. I finally started moving again, like, you know, like, you know, get my heart going, besides just the walking that I do. Because sometimes when you ride bikes, you know, like if there's traffic, you might want to like, if you're on the, feel like if, if there's no bike lane, you got to like stay all the way to the right. Allegedly, you're supposed to have three to six feet clearance, but cars, they don't give enough. So I have to like, literally like stay focused and ride as fast as I can so I could get out of that area real quick. Um, the other day, like I said, I had like a two mile sprint. I had to meet somebody real fast and that, and that was fun. By the time I was done, I couldn't even, I could barely pedal back. But just the fact that I did it, you know, it was exhilarating, you know? It's like, in my opinion, it's better than going to a gym almost because not only are you, you know, getting your heart going, you know, getting a little bit of cardio, but you're also out in the elements. You know, you feel the air, the sun, you know, everything around you. It's like riding a motorcycle. And people who ride motorcycles, they know what I'm talking about. But now, just two weeks after having the bike fixed, getting that new tube that had 20%, not more plastic, more rubber, I, I think they said. I, I said plastic the other day. Now it's, the bike's completely F. And now I gotta come up with money that I don't have. And, um, or I should say money that I earn, but I have to pay back because I don't have health insurance. You know, thank you, federal government. If only Bernie Sanders would have been damn president. Even the damn doctor says so. Universal healthcare would be better for the patient because the doctors, instead of them having to worry about hiring staff for billing or, or 
or what plan each uh, patient has, determining whether what kind of care they can give. They can just give the same care throughout all the patients and not have to worry about any of that stuff. And instead they can focus more on the patients. So it's just completely it's idiotic, but you know what? It's capitalism. Insurance companies, or as I like to call them in case shit, you know, that's what they're there for. They're there to take our monies and charge this ridiculous amount of, uh, what do you call it? You know, that you gotta pay up front before you are eligible for your benefit. So essentially it's almost like they make their money back right there. And um, but then there's people with no insurance. I try to apply for to the marketplace. They said, unless I make, I'm about to make $15,000 the next year, I'm not eligible. But I, I wasn't sure if I'm gonna be making $15,000 next year. I could make 5,000, I could make 10, you know, I don't even think I've hit 15 in, in, in a little while now. So here I am, I pay for my own medical expenses because if I don't, then, you know, I suffer from mental illness, which I know a lot of people think that that's just in your head. And I understand completely because if you're perfectly normal and you're perfectly healthy, you know, you could just say, why don't you just uh, do this or do that, you know? And I used to think the same way about like, let's say back pain, for instance, people who have back pain, I would say, why don't you just walk a little bit more, lose some weight or um, do this, do that. But the people that have the pain, they feel it, you know, it's there for them, it's real. And same thing for myself, you know, but it is what it is. I'm sorry to end this video with this tone, but it's just gonna be rough. I have um, a little bit of a rough time ahead of me because I gotta get this fixed because um, I wouldn't say it's super urgent, but you know, just the feeling of being free, you know, you can't put a price on that. All right, well, thanks for watching. Please be kind to one another and peace be with you and have a blessed day. I downloaded Cash App since it feels like most people don't trust PayPal. So please read the description in case you'd like to make a donation.